Welcome in, everybody. My name is Nick Green, and you're listening to The Food and the Fiddle on WZMB 91.3 FM Greenville. I have a very special show for you guys today. Right now, I've got special guests on right now. His name is Kevin Brelsford, former DJ at WZMB, and he's going to kick off our night right here. We got one hour. It is alumni night to help celebrate a uh, homecoming week here at ECU. Kevin, can you hear me? Yes, we can, Nick. Thanks for having me on. Of course, of course. It's good to have you on. Kevin, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, about like when you graduated, what your show name was, your DJ name, and like what do you do now for a living? Absolutely. So I was on air with ZMB from 91 to 93, graduated in 93, uh, started, I was, I was KB on air. That's what I went with on air and started okay. off. I, I was bugging the, uh, the program director to get me on. And he said, he'd throw me on at a six to 8 AM slot. So <laughs> kind of drug myself in there, you know, probably hung over from being downtown <laughs> the, the night before and, uh, and yeah, did my thing. And then ended up, uh, ended up program director with a, a great group of people there. And in, in the early nineties. That's awesome, man. So how did you get involved with WZMB to start off with? So I was a communications major, and, you know, I liked the idea of, of kind of combining music and business, and, and radio seemed like a route to take. Um, so, and, and, you know, really loved the, the music and just getting exposed to new music that, that ZMB was playing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just bugged them to give me a chance, and, and they did. Um, and uh, ended up using that experience to, to get an internship at a, a record label that was up in Chapel Hill at the time and kind of with the, the music uh, music business route from there. That's awesome. So wait, what has what would you say has been your favorite memory working here at WZMB? Yeah, you know, without a doubt, you know, it was, it was heavy indie rock, you know, a lot of exposure to new music. So, I mean, without a doubt, it was just the – exposure to, to new bands, you know, I, at, during that time, you know, I, I discovered Ween at the station. Okay. I discovered Sonic Youth, you know, all kind of the, the slacker indie rock that was coming out at that time, Pavement and Sebado and, you know, things along those lines. Um, and then it was also fun, you know, in a way to be a part of the breaking of, of bands that went really large. You know, we were, ZMB was playing, Nine Inch Nails, you know, before anybody heard them, and, wow, okay. you know, early Nirvana, early Smashing Pumpkins, you know, before they any commercial stations played them. So it, it was a little tricky, I think, for college radio when those bands all of a sudden hit the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Kind of a, a debate at the time. You know, you, you kind of launch Nirvana, but then do you abandon them just because they're being played on a big station across the town? So. Right. That was that was kind of part of the debate and part of the challenge, but um, yeah, certainly just the, the exposure for new music was was incredible at the station. I can pr I can tell you right now that is something I also love about working here too. The exposure to new music. That last song I just played, my next ex by my next ex by Austin Atkins, is a song I would have never found if I wasn't working here. Yep. I had the wonderful exactly. chance to interview him a few weeks ago, and that's one of my favorites. It's on my playlist currently. I love that song a lot. Okay. And I, I can one hundred percent say. That is a great like it. Finding new music here, I found a lot of new music just from working here. It, it's that's definitely I can say that's for sure true. I love that. So I know you talked a little bit yeah. about how uh, working at WC helped you get an internship in Chapel Hill. Uh, but how else did WZMB? Did your time here help you? Like kind of in the future, how did that help you kickstart things? Yeah, you know the the great thing is you can really get exposed to a lot of different sides of, of radio, but that can really apply to a lot of different things. You know, there, there's the production side, mm -hmm. which you can apply to a lot of different types of jobs. Um, you know, I was program director, so I was managing staff, which is which is great exposure. Um, and and I was uh, promotions director before that, so I got marketing exposure out of it. And and I've now been in the marketing field for my entire career. And I can, without a doubt, 100% and track my entire career back to that radio station, the experience I got, the internship I got because I was at the radio station, and then all the, the marketing stuff that, that I did since then. So Tim Johnson was the, the GM. At the time. I think he may have reached out, and I, I don't think he's going to be able to call in. Um, but if he's if he's listening, Tim Johnson was the general manager at the time, and he was the one that I was bugging to give me a chance there. So, <laughs> you know, it, it just takes somebody to give give you a chance, right? That's that's for that is for sure. 
Tim Johnson, if you are yep. listening, thank you for giving Kevin a chance. So I appreciate that because yep. we would not be having this conversation if it wasn't for that. But that is it, awesome. Are you, uh, by chance, do you think you're, are you going to be in Greenville this Saturday for the game? I will not, actually. I'm, I'm in Austin, Texas. I moved here shortly after, okay. after uh, school. Um, I was back last year for the NC State game. Oh, that was um, fun. Probably will not. It was fun. It was it was brutal to, to lose that way. But yeah. I was lucky enough to be at East Carolina during mm-hmm. that 1991, you know, season where yeah. we went 11 and one. So you know, I'm, I'm hoping we can we can get back there. But still a huge Pirates fan. Watch every game, um, you know, without fail. That's right. Do you have a score prediction yeah. for Saturday? I don't, guys. I mean, at this point, right? <laughs> just just hoping we can we can pull yeah, out a win. win. Um, yeah, just hoping we would pull out a win and obviously have to get the quarterback situation kind of evened yeah. out. It's hard to go back between between both guys. I mean, they both sure. have upsides, but uh, yeah, for um, sure. but but yeah. Actually, we, I was thinking about something that hit me that we did when I was at ZMB, and I, I don't mm-hmm. know if it's even even the stories are around there, but um, we decided to put out a, a compilation CD of Greenville music. Okay. Um, it ended up being called Escape from the Emerald City. It was all Greenville bands, and it was a big – so it was a number of, of staff members at the station that was put in together, and it ended up becoming a really big issue with the advisory board on campus. Um, yeah. I guess, you know, they, they, they were concerned that we may use the station name, and then we may be using, you know, I guess our relationships to, to, to leverage this. It wasn't a for-profit thing. We just were trying to get – exposure for for greenville bands we right. ended up becoming a whole thing we actually almost ended up in court we ended up just oh, doing geez. it independently and <laughs> yeah we ended up doing it independently and, and unfortunately we didn't it didn't have any ZMB you know tie to the cd we wanted yeah. to you know get, get some marketing for the station but right. yeah it was a, a fun time but ended up quite a big ordeal with the the hires up at uh you know on campus it sounds like it all right, Kevin. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for you. I got some other alumni that are about to be on in just a little bit, so that is all the time I have for you. Thank you for coming on, and I really appreciate it. It was good to hear from you. Nick, thanks for having me on. Take care. Of course. Yeah, you too. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Nick Green, and you're listening to WCMB 91.3 FM Greenville. This is the Food and the Fiddle, and I've got my second special guest with you for the day. This is Brian P.S. Brian, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you great. Awesome. Go ahead. All right, Brian, we're going to start off this one the same way. Tell us a little bit about yourself, about what year you graduated from ECU, uh, when you worked at WZ, what what your DJ name was, what your show name was. Tell us a little bit of stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I was uh, graduated in 1998. Uh, I was the uh, I was actually the program director there for a while. Okay. Um, I actually, and I was the hip-hop director. We had a show called Club 91 Rap Attack. Uh, from 19, uh, that show was on for a while. Yeah, so we were on there for a long. We had a lot of folks visit the station. Um, I interviewed the Notorious B.I.G. in that radio station. Okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah. And uh, currently I work for, um, I've been radio my whole career. So currently I work for iHeartRadio and Raleigh. I'm um, in programming. Um and about about 11 stations nationwide so awesome. raleigh's my base but yeah i've been around i've worked for I've, I've done it my whole career so that is awesome brian good to hear that well how'd you first get involved with wcmb if you don't mind me asking um so there was a he was actually the godfather to my daughter now there was a guy named lee judge who was the general manager there and uh we were uh, neighbors in the summertime in an apartment complex in Greenville, and he asked me that I want to come down and host. Um, they had a reggae show that time and a hip hop show, and they needed some people to host, and I did, and that's how I got started. That was 1994, I believe. Yeah, it was 94, and that's how I got started, and just uh, I, I got the radio bug and, and was been doing it ever since. That's awesome. What's been your favorite memory working here? Oh, ZMB. I mean, I mean, I told you I interviewed Biggie. Um, I mean, we had a lot of we used to have freestyle battles back in the day on the hip hop okay. show. I mean, just and just really like breaking records because at that time, 
you know, hip hop was kind of coming into its own, but college radio at that time, I mean, hip hop was very, I mean, it was very important. The college radio was very important to hip hop artists. So uh, we would, you know, we, we got a lot of those, you know, records broke and um, it was, you know, shoot, it gave me an opportunity to go to different places and then do different functions at conventions and things like that. So uh, that's, that's where it was at. And it was, uh, like I said, that's WZMB is what started me. So that's right. So you said you like to do the freestyle battles. You were any good at those? Oh, I didn't. I hosted them. No, oh, we used to have oh, we used to have, we used to, we, yeah, we, yeah. No, no, we used oh, to have man. MCs from Greenville. Like they would come in and on Sunday nights. Oh man, um, we would. I actually actually still got some of that stuff. I put it okay. up on SoundCloud not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. But we would do uh, battles, and you know, we would de- okay. you know do parties, and, and yeah, it was. Uh, at that time, that room across the str- across the hall from WZMB, that was our, now there's offices and stuff over there. But at one time, that was the party room. So okay. we would have functions there after, you know, after we get off the air. So, Man, you say, you got me excited for a second. I thought you were talking about, like, you did uh, you did these freestyle yourselves. It's like, man, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask if you can freestyle. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Quick. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, absolutely. Have you do it real quick for us. <laughs> oh, That's a little unfortunate. I was going to see if you could do that, but. Uh, well, <laughs> I got okay, you. Well, I know you work at iHeartRadio now, so I, 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 this is a little bit of an obvious answer here. But how did you? How did your time here at WZMB help you get like help you in your future? Oh, it started me. I mean, it gave me the radio bug, taught me the tools on you know what I needed to do, and you know I did my first internship in, in college out of there, to, you know, the major radio company, and yeah, um, it just taught me everything I needed to know, you know, how to do radio and. Uh, you know, like I said, I mean, it started me off on my career. Uh, you know, that's been, you know, I graduated 25 years ago this year, so it, it started me off, and, I, and it's all I've ever done since then. That's awesome. Especially for, for say, me listening to you, I said, that's something I want to do in the future, so that's something that I, I definitely, am, I love that this is what started you because that, I hope, hopefully I'll see myself doing something similar to that in the future. Are you going to be in Greenville this Saturday for the game? I actually, yeah, I actually will. I'll be in Greenville all weekend. I'm coming down Friday morning. Absolutely. Awesome, man. We got a score prediction from you? Oh, uh, (laughs) guys are struggling right now. I think it'll be East Carolina 14, 14, Charlotte 10. (laughs) (laughs) Very defensive game, I see. Yeah, yeah. I don't think either one of them has offense. So. You know what? Yeah. I, 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 I agree with that. I'd say it's it'll be tough for us to put. Hopefully, I'd like to see us at least get twenty on the board. But you know, I, I listen fourteen to ten. I, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't shock me if it happened. But God, absolutely, we can be sure absolutely. Get our second win, first <laughs> conference win of the season. That'd be great to have right here on homecoming. Yes, yes, right. it would. Yes, it would. All right, Brian. It's, I'm gonna ask kind of two questions here and one here. If you have any advice for DJs who are currently listening to us or any closing remarks that you have for us, I want to hear them. Um, you know, I think with DJs, just, you know, learn the history of radio and learn people that came before you and, and make sure you understand the business part of this. You know, radio is, you know, it's 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 an art, but there's a business side to it. Sure. So you have to understand the bit. You have to understand the business side to it and just be able to. Uh, reinvent yourself when you need to because i've had to reinvent myself two or three times in my career so awesome man well hey brian it was good speaking with you today uh glad glad you got the chance to come on here and we'll say hopefully us the pirates can get a win on saturday all right absolutely i i appreciate you having me of course brian it's good talking to you